So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a little bit of of how you can order things because I'm now realizing that we didn't actually cover that and also look at uh, how that can change things and how you can use that with your newly found updated column. So if I say select star from author and I wanted to order by updated then I would get the necessary order. And what's neat about this too is that MySQL is smart enough to give you the very beautiful looking date here but it's actually a binary representation or a number representation of that date. So because it's a number representation of that date you can also do things like order by ascending which is what it is now by default or orders by descending and then you're going to get the inverse order based on when something was updated. So for example let's say you had some kind of log sheet that you were trying to track or you had an auditing table in your in your database schema it would be very easy for you to generate reports based on the updated column. You could even do limiting you could say okay I want it updated I want it to be ordered by the last value and I want to limit it to the own, the last two records and then it's going to give me the last two records in this particular uh, table. Alternatively if I do select star from post and I decide I want to do an order by updated descending I'm going to get the last post first which is great and then if we were doing something like pagination where we had multiple pages we could limit to let's say we wanted to do two posts a page so I'll just say limit two and then it's going to give me the first two but if I do limit zero or two and then space two two space two then it's going to give me numbers IDs three and two and then if I do limit three and two then it's going to give me IDs 2 and 1. So 4 and 5, that's our first page. Our second page, so we're actually, we're going, we have to go by numbers of 2, right? So 0, the first one is actually 0 and 2. So 0 and 2 is 4 and 5, so that's the 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 last and the second last post and then if I add two to the first that's my offset then I'm gonna get three and two and then if I want to go past articles three and two then I just add two more and I'm gonna get the last post in my particular blog which is the political posting which is an ID of one and all the while everything is being ordered by when this particular post was updated now at the same time we can also perform some date operations on the publish date and the expire date. So just to quickly show you that let's look at some date functions. So we're going back to this whole idea of functions. Now you'll notice in the in the uh, in the schema des description here that we have this now function that we're using. So if I want to see what a function does in MySQL, it's as simple as just saying select and then the name of the function. So just like I did select sleep, if I put select sleep, then it's going to do whatever the sleep time is. If I want to do select now, it's going to give me the date right now. And in the same way, I can perform various date operations. So if I have select now and I want to add a date or I want to remove it a certain amount of time, it's just a matter of saying add date now and then I can for example add an interval of 30 minutes and what it's going to do is it's going to take the current time and it's going to add 30 minutes to it so now we've gone from being you know 2010 March 4th to uh, at 1239 to 2010 March 4th at 109 just in the same way I can do 30 day and I'll get a date in October so you'll notice that the month has changed or I could do 30 year 
or I could do 30 second, or I could do 30 month, and so on and so forth. So that's for adding a date. Now I can also subtract a date just by doing the opposite. So I can do select sub date now interval 30 month and I'll get a date whoops I forgot my braces right there my brackets which are very important so if I do that then I'll get you know 30 months that's over two years so I'm gonna get an, a time in uh, in 2007 now what's also important here is that the column name has become really really nasty looking and again we can always just alias it by using as and say okay date in 20, 2007 and then the column name will be date in 2007 so why am I showing you all of this well very simply it means that we can change our published dates for various uh, bits of content on our website so if I go to select star from post I'm gonna have a whole bunch of various pieces of content now if I wanted to only show stuff that was relevant for a particular period of time it would just be a matter of saying, okay, um, actually, before we go further, I'm going to create some more posts here so that we have a little more content to work with. So I'm going to copy these guys and then paste them. And then just say more posting one, more posting two, more posting three more posting four and more posting five select all that paste it in we've got our various sleep statements so we'll just take a couple more seconds and now if I do a select start from post I should have 10, 10 posts which is a little more interesting and I can very easily start to modify them appropriately.